but local families are now wondering how they'll get their kids to school. Last night, Blue Valley Schools voted to cut its pay rider school bus transportation program for middle and high schoolers next year. KSHB 41's Grant Stevens was there when the board made the decision. Today, he went back to the district to talk with families bracing for the change. How are you feeling about the change? Oh, now we're left with no options of getting my son to school and I'm extremely concerned. Last night's vote to cut Blue Valley bus routes is bad news for Sally Jersha, who says her middle schooler Jake may have to walk more than a mile and a half to school. It's not the longest walk, but the roads here aren't exactly pedestrian friendly. It's a busy road and actually my friends have worse commutes for their children. There aren't sidewalks to their school, so they're going to have to walk in ditches if they decide to walk to school. Mission is a busy roadway, but this may be the only viable route for Jake and the other kids in his neighborhood. It's a 30 minute walk with a cross across that busy road. But even still, this might not work for Jake. How do you think you're going to get to school? Honestly, I don't really know. Um, I can definitely not walk since I'm a type one diabetic and um, it's a, it's about maybe a 30 minute walk to school and uh, my blood sugars will probably drop and I'll drop too. And I don't want to worry two times a day. The next best option is a parent led carpool system like we've seen form in the neighboring Olathe School District. But these are band aids on a larger wound, one that won't heal in time for school this fall. Jersha admits the bus service wasn't great before the change, often late, but at least it was there. My son would get to school late or come home a little late. But even with those inconveniences, I knew that he always had a ride to and from school. Grant Stevens, KSHB 41 News.